I've always I've always heard that term is is as uh, sometimes your wife just wants you to hold the bucket while she verbally vomits. You know, I right. probably heard that for 20, 30 years, but I I didn't realize that um, not only hold the bucket but be the bucket for, for that to happen and not um, experience that emotion but observe that emotion. And let me ask you what. What is it? What's behind the curtain for us as guys to understand when a woman, you know, how can she appreciate? What does she appreciate when we hold the bucket, which is different than being a punching bag, right? Mm, oh, yeah. So how does she, a woman who's in a healthy space, but maybe there's Kali energy in this, right? And help us understand what it is it about holding the bucket that intrinsically is a positive thing. When. Thank you, Matt. I appreciate it. When you hold the bucket and I, and I would say even I can find the holding the bucket for another woman or a child. It's, uh, it takes a lot, a lot of presence and, you know, feeling into the self and watching my mindset. So I know this is not a, oh, just quick, easy thing to do. When you do hold the bucket for her, she is going to feel intrinsically in her body that you are valuing what she says. And because you value what she says, it doesn't mean that it's, you think it's right, but you value it. It's important. It matters. It's an expression of her. When you value what she says, she automatically feels like you value who she is. And with the absence of that, um, her words are so important to her. Women are so much into the verbal communication of things when she feels like there is no space for her to, in her, her mind, it just feels like she's sharing, she's being honest. Maybe she's trying to like you know, get rid of or work through some tension in her body when that's not being held and it's either met with anger or dismissal um, or you know it overwhelms she can feel that, you know, she's too much, she's not heard and automatically beneath all that, she'll feel like who she is, is not valued to, to you. Uh, and that can start to chip away on her demeanor uh, and her sense of self and her sense of the relationship with you um, pretty quickly. The following program is intended for a mature audience. Viewer discretion is advised. This I've got to see. It's worth watching, so stay tuned. So let me ask, I was listening to Alison Armstrong's Understanding Women. It's about a four-hour audiobook. I assigned it to a couple of new clients, and I was listening to it again, and she talked about when a woman shares these details, it's because they're like berry markers, which berries are poisonous and which ones are going to be ready to eat. And if you as a man don't listen to the details, it seems like you don't value her warnings, her information, her uh, giving into the relationship where a guy is all about results, like just tells the point. Mm -hmm. And Alison Armstrong <laughs> said, there is no point when a woman talks. It's the meta. Yes. <laughs> and just you acknowledging the meta, acknowledging her details is acknowledging her contribution, if you will. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it does all. And it, so I don't believe that just because, you know, a woman might be giving tons and tons of details, like Alison Armstrong talks of, you know, here's the grocery list. And I want you to like get the specific tomato paste and you have to get this. Like, I don't think that is, that's kind of like the Mr. Nice guy mode of having to appease her. Um, but everything she says is very important to her. And I've even experienced myself in, you know, past experiences um, with bosses or colleagues. I'll share, share, share the meta, which to me is all incredibly important. And then, you know, the masculine on the other side is like, what's, what's the point? And in my mind, I was like, but I gave you the, I gave you the 5,000 points <laughs> That's the meta, <laughs> and I yeah. can't just pick the one in this. I don't know how yeah. to pick the one in this moment. Yeah. So another man I was speaking to out of Georgia yesterday, he said this almost exact thing he wants to work on empathy and connection. Cause she's felt like she hasn't been connected with him. And he told me half the time, I don't even remember what she was talking about. <laughs> 
And I said, that's fine. But do you know the gist? Like, how was she feeling about things? He's like, uh, so he's working on that. And he, he, in his own life, throws away the details and goes for the, you know, he's killing the buffalo. He tries to throw away all the superfluous details. And with her, it's all of the meta. So he can't treat her like a man, like, you know, a hairy woman and all that stuff, Alison Armstrong. He can't treat her like a man and still expect to connect with her like she's a woman in intimate relationships. So yeah. he's working on So I appreciate the watch the rest of this episode for free and other episodes. Go to greatmenmovemountains.com slash VIP. Punch in your info and watch the rest for free. Get more affection, love, and sex in your marriage. Get less paralyzing fear and rejection. Never miss an episode. Watch anytime, anywhere, 3 a.m. on the toilet. Get full episodes. GreatMenMoveMountains.com forward slash VIP. The C-Note Show.